What's up, Flipsetter? So it's not March anymore. Like I said yesterday, I said it was March yesterday. It's definitely April, and the sun is shining off and radiating off of my body because I'm so freaking white. But um, it feels amazing out here. It's like 55 degrees or something, and that was good enough for me because I just got finished with the workout. So I'm like, I'm hot. I'm dying inside. I'm just going to take my shirt off and walk around for a little while. And while I was out here... I saw this little area over here that I promised I'd tell you a story about yesterday and I always forget and people were telling me in the comments last video not to forget so I'm just going to tell you now. And this whole video is themed, it's perfect. But anyway, um, it's almost like I planned out because it's all going to come together brilliantly. Not really. But anyway, I was right here. And when I walk my dog, I usually bring uh, like a weight vest with me, like 50 up to 100, whatever, however adventurous I'm feeling for the day. And I'll take her on a hike or whatever, and it's just a way to get... I have to walk my dog anyway, so it's a way to sneak in a workout. And <laughs> so I was right here, and I didn't feel like taking the stairs like a chump. So I was like, I'll just hop up here, no big deal. So I was just going to hop up, and so I hop up here. But my dog didn't feel like jumping up, so she stayed down here. Uh, and she's heavy. She's like 120 pounds of dog, of Rottweiler. So I jump up, and I nick my foot right here. Right here on the thing, and uh, I have a man coming to talk to me. Hi. Uh, so I nicked my foot right there. Because I'm jumping up and I hit my foot, boom, face plant right here on the asphalt. And my dog's just sitting there laughing at me. She didn't think it's hilarious. And so I'm laying there, boosh, with like 75 pounds on, on me, and I'm just like, to like get up and like try to waddle back up into the house. Scraped up my knee and like my face and everything. It was wonderful. Um, speaking of another one of my great athletic moments, I was at up at the church the other day and playing on the playset, and I was just hopping up on the playset. That's all I was doing is hopping up. So I grabbed the little two bars on the side and I just pulled myself up because I wasn't gonna take the little three steps that it gives you. Right? I pulled myself up really hard because I was like jumping up with authority. I was chasing uh, Catherine's niece hit my face on a metal monkey bar. <laughs> I just slam right into this monkey bar. Just face first right here on my nose. Um, or I guess up here. I don't know. But my glasses broke. Uh, I got a bloody nose and I cut the inside of my lip and I had a huge bruise on my nose for like a week. It was crazy. It was uh, really hard. The hardest since I've been like punched in the face, which was fun. Back of the head, same thing. I don't know. Anyway, um, but anyway, talking about how unathletic and uncoordinated I am, have you guys heard about the guy who's gonna jump off Mount Everest in a wingsuit? It's freaking awesome. I don't remember his name. It's like Heebie Jeebie or something. But <laughs> disclaimer, that's probably not his actual name. But he's jumping off of Everest with one of those wing squirrel suit things. That's crazy! It's, Mount Everest is like, I don't know, like 20,000 miles high or something. And you can hardly even breathe up there! So, he was on Jimmy Fallon earlier, so, like, three weeks ago, but I haven't sat down to watch it because I've been so busy. So, I'm, I was just watching the episode today. And he's gonna, it's gonna take him like five to six weeks. They're gonna camp out, like, to get to where Everest is, maybe not, I don't know. It's gonna take like five to six weeks to get to Everest and then like three to four days to go up it, I think. Maybe that's what he was saying. But, um, and then he's just gonna get to the top. He has to wear oxygen to get to the top of Everest, but then when he's at the top, he's gonna take the thing off and just jump and fly back down. And he said he could hit up to like 200 miles an hour. 200 miles an hour flying just through, through the air. And it's crazy. And so apparently he said that the altitude won't be much of an issue. It's only an issue when you go up really fast. But when you're coming down really fast, it's not as much of an issue. So I don't understand how that works. But, I mean, I'm sure he kind of has an idea of what he's doing. Considering that he's going to jump off of Mount Everest. Which is really cool. And they're broadcasting it live. <laughs> and they're broadcasting it live on the Discovery Channel. It's in May sometime. I'm not sure when. Apparently he didn't set a date because... The day in which he jumps has to depend on the weather, which makes total sense. But it's going to be in May. <coughs> oh, jeez. Excuse me. That's awful. Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, he's jumping in May, and they're going to broadcast it live on the Discovery Channel. 
I'm really sorry I burped on camera. I don't know why I did that. Um, oh, excuse me. Yikes. Um, my parents raised me way better than that. Um, but they're broadcasting it live. What if something horrible goes wrong? They'll probably have like a 10 second delay or something like most live shows do. And hey, there's our motorhome right there. And um, there is the window that's been broken into. Oh, that was a bug. And uh, yeah. So. No, it's no window. So, I mean, but there's a attack snake in there. So if you try to go in there, you'll definitely die. Um, way better than guard dog because it doesn't bark; it just kills you. <clears throat> but they're gonna have to put like a 10 second delay on that, or else if the dude like splats into the side of the mountain, like wind takes him, and he explodes into a million pieces, they can't show that live, can they? Like, are you allowed to show that kind of stuff on TV? Probably not on the Discovery Channel, but what if it was a different channel? Like, I don't know, can the news show, like, graphic deaths or something? I don't know. But, um, it's pretty intense. And I'm definitely gonna watch. I'm super excited for it, but it's super crazy. But if I was given the chance to jump out of, like, a plane in those wingsuits, I'd do it in a heartbeat. That would be so much fun and be terrifying. I would cry the entire time, but I, I would totally do it. Just say I did it. And who doesn't want to know what it feels like to fly? That'd be awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, I need to go take a shower, do something with this hair, vacuum, and um, work on some Flipsider film stuff, which I'm trying to get back to doing weekly. And, uh, oh, there go, there go my glasses. Who needs them anyway? There's not, ah, oh, ow! Oh. Um, I'm gonna go home and not go not gonna problem like I was planning on doing today. Guess yes, I'm not doing that. Um Okay, thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Tell me what you guys think about the whole jumping off of Mount Everest thing in the comments. I'm curious. Um obviously curious enough to ramble for seven minutes. But it's it's really cool, I think. And I wanna know what you got <laughs> I kept that one in. I want to know what you guys think. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see. You, uh, and give us, uh, send us more Flip Center Friday intros. If you haven't done that, jeez, what is wrong with me? Um, all you have to do is film yourself saying hi, I'm so and so from blank. Welcome to the flip side. Uh, if you give that to us, we'll put it in a video, one of our Flip Center Fridays. Um, and, and we need more intros. We only have a couple. So uh, the more the merrier. Whoever, who, no matter who you are, if you have a good camera, a bad camera, doesn't matter at all. Just film something. It could be on your phone, on your iPod, whatever. Just film it, <clears throat> upload it to a channel, send me a message, I'll go download it, and then we'll put you in a video, I promise. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the flip side.